This is Twit. Hello? Hello. Hello. What's your first name and what's the city? Uh, Greg from Knoxville. Hey, Greg. How are things in Knoxville today? Hi. It's a little chilly, yeah. but we'll take it. Chilly for Knoxville is what? <laughs> Uh, this morning it was about 24. Oh, that's oh, chilly. That's okay. Chilly. <laughs> you win. <laughs> we sometimes, it's about 45 degrees here, and we go, oh, my God, we're dying. It's freezing. <laughs> it's so cold. And people mock us, but that's because we're thin-blooded Californians. So what's up? What can we do for you? Uh, I need help with a New Year's resolution. Oh, Ooh. yes, me too. What's yours? <laughs> okay, so, so I had a 2010 iMac with an i3 processor. 2010 iMac. I had okay. like an iPhoto library on. Ah. And when iPhoto was sort of discontinued and photo became um, the primary library, yes. I switched to photo but didn't import my iPhoto library because I had a corruption problem. Uh oh. And I'm trying to figure out how I can bring those photos over into iPhoto. Can you still access now. the i3? Um, can you still get on the old computer? I can. Okay. I can. It still runs. So what you want to do is you're going to go to your photos folder. Or maybe it's your pictures folder. Uh, and you're going to yeah. find the iPhotos library, which is a giant blog. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, you right. said it's corrupted. If it's, if it's really corrupted, this isn't going to work. But if... If it's just a little corrupted, yeah, I, I can still I, I can still like access them. But like when I go in, like there would be like a thumbnail version and then the, the higher resolution version. Yeah. OK. You what you want is the originals. Right. And Correct. then you'll import yeah. them into your new photos library. So it's there. Right. And this is a trick of the way Apple uh, does its uh, file system. What looks like. A single file called the iPhotos or the, yeah, I guess it's the iPhotos library is actually a folder. It's just they hide the right. contents of the folder. If you right click it, the drop down menu, mm -hmm. you see package contents. Have you ever done this? You can open the package right. contents. Yeah, it, I, I have gone in there. Okay. In there, there's a folder called originals that is the actual original photos in that library. That's all you really want. Okay, I'll you, have to look. I don't remember seeing that. I'll have to check Yeah, it's in that. there, original photos. And you can drag it out of that onto an external drive or a USB thumb drive, anything it'll fit on, and copy it. Okay. And now you've got the original photos, okay. and then you just put that in the new computer, and you import from photos those all those photos, and they'll now suddenly be in your, your photos library. Gotcha. Okay. There was a man, right. an automatic way to do this when when you Apple first moved from my photos to oh, photos. Yeah, the, the file was called Masters at the time. The folder was called Masters. Oh, that goes way back. Yeah. Okay. I haven't seen Masters. Yeah. I've only seen original photos. But you'll dig around. You're going to see. There's a bunch. There's a folder with all okay. the photos in it. Not the not the thumbnails. Gotcha. Not the edits. Nothing. Just the originals. But that's right. what you want. Yeah. So my. If I can't find that because like it, it, it got corrupted, if I brought all the JPEGs over, is there any way for, is there a program or something that can sort through those and remove like, the, the thumbnails version and just or find the, the best version? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are, there are a couple of ways to do that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the Photos app itself could detect that they're you duplicates. You could just take the library um, maybe and import from the Photos app. Yeah, well, so you could, so there's a, a built-in duplicates tool and it's possible that even though they're different sizes, the photos library could determine the difference. But I think the best way to do it is to use the third-party tool, uh, Gemini. Um, You've recommended okay. this before and I love it. It's not free, but it, it is It is not great. free. It's called Gemini Photos yeah. and it is a great tool uh, from MacPaul uh, that will immediately realize that you've got low quality thumbnails and then the full size photos and give you the ability to select basically all of the thumbnails and say, I don't want those. I only want the full size photos. And I think it has okay. a okay. free trial. Um, so you could at least give it a go, see if it's right for you and then, you know, make the choice to purchase it from there. Uh, it is okay. again, Gemini photos like the twins. That's a great program okay. to have, well, just in general. That. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, I will give it a try because there's about 30,000 pictures Ooh. in that library. Yeah, you really so. don't want to lose them. <laughs> yeah. 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 If it's so corrupted you can't get to the masters or the originals, then I, I yeah. I mean, then, that's the problem is it's corrupted, uh, which we, we don't know right. what that what that means really how what is how is that gonna yeah how how is that gonna affect your export don't give up on it right. make a copy so, of it yeah save no matter it what somewhere. save it yeah yeah i have i have multiples and i have had some time machine backups that i could go through as well but Yay, um, time machine. i don't know when it originally got corrupted right um so that that's part of the problem trying to go back to find a, a state before it got corrupted um because it really screwed up the dates the Ugh. photos so oh, like i had a lot of albums and things and now everything kind of has like a default date or something on them so it's oh, pretty hard to, to work with them okay well i appreciate the suggestion and i'll i'll give it a shot yeah yeah good luck good luck absolutely okay take Thank care you. bye bye Hey, if you like what you just saw, all you got to do is head to twit.tv slash ATG to subscribe. Then smash the bell, hit the button, and I don't know, do that stuff the YouTubers do.